Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, 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 welcome to the Mental Hour. With me, your host, Khadija. I actually got an email that I don't know if it should make me feel good or if it made it should make me cry. It was like, damn, Khadija. Keep up with your school community and it's telling me that 175 people have tried to contact me in the last, um, I guess, the last 65 days or something. And they give you an opportunity to see who joined as well. And the, the crux of the email was... <laughs> Lord have mercy, y'all. It's time for a 45th reunion. Did y'all hear what I said? A 45th reunion. The class of 1975. That's who I am. And it's amazing because... You know, I try to tell young people it's um time is a construct, just like race. You know, that's why you always hear the Christians say that there is no time in God. There is no time in, in the Lord. Or however they said it when we were in church. When I think about high school or, you know, the time that I spent in high school. You know, I feel like I'm 16, ain't never been kissed. <laughs> so when you get to the point where you're looking at something, y'all, and it says your 45th high school reunion, you know damn well you got more life behind you than you got in front of you. And you're thankful and you should be grateful for every moment that you spend alive. You don't spend a whole lot of time debating with people no more. You don't spend a whole lot of time acting like your way is the only way. You you learn how to push your ego out the door and let some other things um, work. Um, you there's a lot of things that come <laughs> with that that lets me know that no baby you a lot older than being sixteen and ain't never been kissed. When I look at my grandchildren. You know, and those things, those are things that, you know, bring the construct and make it real. However, I still, let me say this, for all of y'all who went to Riverside University, or Riverside, uh, I, I, I won't make it. <laughs> I don't even want to see y'all that. I hope those of y'all who are still alive are doing well. But um, high school was a horrible time for me, and I don't think that I would um, want to go back and see none of y'all asses ever again. <laughs> but God bless you, though. Anyway, I thought I'd share that with y'all. 60, I mean... 45 year anniversary. I mean, it's just amazing. It's really hard to believe. All right. On to the next one. On to the next one. Uh, I know y'all know that attorney uh, Barr is down there lying. He's on Capitol Hill today. And he has to testify. <laughs> and some of them, you know, they ain't letting them off the hook. They like, do you think the American people are stupid? Um, that we don't know what you're doing? Anyway, it's funny because the Daily Mail just did a little snippet of it. And that's I'm just going to give you a little bit um, because I cannot stand his face. And I, you, he just looks like a crook, in my opinion. Um, he asked... Bill Barr, that is, asked, since when is it okay to try to burn down a federal court? And Bill Barr defends sending federal troops to Portland? He said, y'all got him messed up. 
and he denies systemic racism in nation's uh, force as he backs Trump to the hilt while under a furious attack from the uh, Democratic House in that hearing. He's unbothered. And he don't give a damn what y'all say. That's what you need to know. Anyway, Bill Barr and the House of uh, Democrats engaged in an all-out battle as the Attorney General appeared in front of the Judiciary Committee for the first time, clashing bitterly and repeatedly over his response to Black Lives Matter protests and his handling of the Roger Stone case. Judiciary Committee Chairman Jerry Nadler opened up by accusing Barr of having federal officers use pepper spray and truncheons uh, against protesters create visuals to aid President Donald Trump with his law and order theme re-election campaign. Because y'all know uh, DT is real good for those visuals. And some people are so brainless that all you got to do is aesthetically just show them well, I'm serious and tough on crime. And as long as they can see footage, you know, it's like the apprentice all over again. Except it's our freaking country going down the drain. Anyway, the president wants footage for his campaign ads. And you appear to be serving it up to him as ordered, Nadler said. The protesters aren't mobs. They're mothers. They're veterans and mayors. But Barr hit back. <laughs> And the Democrats with the and the Democrats hard saying, since when is it okay to burn down a federal court? He was aided by Congress congressional Republicans who opened their minority statement with a compilation of video of violent disorder in the wake of the uh, George uh, Floyd protest and death. After ranking Republican Jim Jordan accused the Democrats of attacking Barr. And he said that he's there attacking him for his willingness to back Trump's claim that the Obama administration spied on him. Y'all hear me? Did you hear me? That the Obama administration spied on him. And I just want to say one thing. I was really wish that y'all could just get Obama's crotch out your mouth. You really need to get Obama's out of your mouth. Y'all really, really like it, don't you? My goodness. Anyway, I you, you gotta watch it. This shit is, 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 is like fiction. Certainly you can't believe it. You can't. If you like what you hear, like, subscribe, share to this mental house because it ain't even real here. It ain't.